It would be unfair, though, guys, and I know we just got off at a little tangent on the offensive line, which is part of the offensive issues That's yesterday, crazy. but State the Browns started a fifth-round rookie making his first career start against Baltimore. It did not go well for DTR, but I also think it would be unfair to say his head coach did him any favors. He did not. The fans mm -hmm. helped him out at all. Yeah, there's, that, a, there's so. blame to go around everywhere. I mean, no, yeah, one no, is, doubt. no one is blameless. Yeah, uh, I, is it all Stefanski's fault? No. Is it all DTR's fault? No. Is it all the line's fault? No. You lose as a team, you win as a team. Everybody should have their hand up. This yeah, I, I, you know, it's funny. Um, I said, I, just, I said earlier that nobody was saying before this game that the Browns should have kept Josh Dobbs, and as soon as the game was over, everybody was screaming about Josh Dobbs, yeah. which is silly. But everyone wanted DTR, right? Everyone. Everybody. No. And How however, about the way DTR? It, I, I mean, uh, Josh Dobbs. Uh, although he beat Dallas. Yeah. Uh, what's his record as the starting quarterback yeah, in the NFL? Now, in he fairness, has one win. In one. fairness, everybody thought they were going to suck, and he doesn't have a lot of talent around him. Right. He's not been awful, but he, he's not been They beat the that Cowboys. Good. They played well in that game. And they played. he played decently in the first half against the he Niners did. yesterday. Yeah. But, um, but, but the thing is, uh, they should have known, Stefanski and Barry, that this guy wasn't ready to play. And if they, yeah, they should now maybe they thought he was, and maybe he panicked. I don't know what happened, but if they, if 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 he if they knew he was going to be as anywhere close to as bad as he was, then maybe they should have gone with the veteran and PJ Walker, who at least it wouldn't be his first NFL game, so yeah. he wouldn't be as nervous. I don't know, but if yeah, Watson if, can't go in two weeks, and by the way, we don't know. There's fluid on the sack by the rotator cuff. Sometimes that dissipates. Sometimes it sticks around. If he can't go, do you think making a change to Walker against San Francisco is the smart move? Or do you put him out there against Joey Bosa and the 49er oh, yeah. Wolves? Because well, someone's going to hey, get hurt in that game. Hey, hey, listen. I Forget, P, forget P.J. Walker, P.J. Hill, whoever the P.J. it is, P.J. <laughs> Brown. I don't, listen, sleeping in your P.J.'s. Listen, that's out of here. If there is any inkling, I'll give you all this little thing right here. Because it seemed like there was a communication mis misnomer between Stefanski and Deshaun Watson. Because Deshaun said he was going to play. He told everybody he was going to play. He was ready to play. He got out there, couldn't throw the ball more than 10 yards. Now, let me ask you this. I don't, you know, we dealt with this arm thing before. And we see that sometimes those things continue to linger, continue to it linger. It can derail a season. And, and, and guess what? Is he ready? Is he not? You come back, he takes a hit, put him back on the shelf. The Cleveland Browns seriously need to be the Dalton room and say, listen, we like the little story with DTR. Give me, give me a veteran. Give me somebody that has won some games. Give me somebody. Well, who that do you want to get? Who, who, who picking? Hey, my job ain't to look at the you list. You want to go sign Carson Wentz? I, 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 yeah. I mean, he hasn't, he's been on the shelf for a while. Hey, I might mean, be the best option. I, I, though. I, I mean, I can't, I can't do the rookie stuff. There's a reason nobody's wanted him. But, but I can't, I can't do that. I can't do, do, do the rookie. It's one game. I know, but the oh, other thing too no. is, you, you, you I was the like the baseball analogy. Yeah. A manager that puts a major league, a guy on the bump for the first time in the major leagues, yeah. has to treat him differently than he would. Shane okay, Bieber. but what's the answer? There's well, no better answer. What I'm saying is, not only do you risk getting this guy injured, DTR yeah. is not a thick, sound, full quarterback. Yeah. He's more on the frail, slight side. Yeah. Not only do you risk physically injuring him, you could put him in a spot where he starts seeing ghosts. And uh, isn't that the two words you never I, want to I hear just, your young I, quarterback? In my opinion, you're overstating the offensive but, line issues. And I'm just not worried about that. But that but much. no. But here's what here's what you're saying to the guys in the locker room. The guys already started to whispering. You know, there's multiple guys that reached out and say reached out personally and said, why is why are we through DTR dropping back 36 times to pass the football? They were worried about why. Well, the, again, in the second half, what choice did you have? I mean, what they, choice did you have in the they, second half? I mean, they, down came, big. they came out. They, they came out the first three plays. DTR scrambles against the first down. First drive. You got a fresh new set of downs. Stefanski drops. Stefanski drops back and throws the ball four more times. Yeah, that's well, seven. That's seven. They were times. first and twenty. Well, well, that's what I'm saying. When you come back, get a couple of yards on first down. Right, but they ran on first down. No, it no, was no, a no. Penalty, no, and they. No, what happened was they got sacked on first down, and they got to second and twenty. But there was. And, Okay. And they had to run two more times. And, and that's not the minutiae. The minutiae, yeah. what I'm saying is, 
you got a veteran locker room, and those guys in there, especially under Jim Schwartz, is thinking a lot different. Best believe they don't like the feeling of saying, we we putting our season on a rookie. So who do you want? Well, it's not the season. I mean, I, this is not a serious injury that Watson has. I don't think we can rule that out yet. Yeah. Uh, I, yesterday during the, the telecast, they said, you know, in terms of long-term ramifications, they just don't know yet. So th- right. here's what that tells me. And, yeah. and also, the fluid issue is a concern. You don't know the severity of it yet. And let's just hope for the sake of this team and yeah. 2023 season that Sean, uh, Deshaun Watson is throwing the football fine in, in a week from now, and he's practicing leading up to San Francisco, and he's able to go. But it, it does need to start sifting into the Browns' thought process that that might not be the case. Well, what's the solution? What well, do you, that's do you what we're talking want? about. Well, who do you want? Conti- what do we want? The, we're not saying get rid of DTR. We, the conti- but who do you want? Give me, like, do you so have a solution? So, according, real quick, I just did a quick Google search. There you go. The yeah. top available free agent quarterbacks. Yeah. Are you serious right now? Yes. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read the names. And I'm gonna ask if any <laughs> well, of these. Well, it's a question they have to ask if he's ruled out for six to eight weeks. Well, and we don't know that. Can play anymore. We don't know that. There's a reason listen. nobody wanted Carson Wentz. I don't well, think any well, of these once names. Once upon a time, nobody wanted Baker Mayfield either. Right. I mean, Baker, guys. Baker was no, no. That's not a comparison. Baker's been was Baker's never been on, dealt by three teams. I know, but he's never been sat there as a free agent for ten months. No, not at all. But it, it's. When you take a look at his career trajectory, yeah. he was an overall number one. Cleveland let him go. Carolina let I him go. The Rams that, let him go. But so what I'm saying is, it's not a good I think comparison, sometimes though. today, and I know that Carson Wentz has had a big body of work where he's been awful, yeah. but sometimes it's the situation in the player. Sometimes. So, a guy, so we also know that once upon a time, this guy could play. So the soft, you want to bring in a guy who hasn't played, Yes. He's the softest quarterback maybe in the history of football wow. behind a shaky offensive line. I don't know. If you listed who's the softest quarterback in oh, the NFL. I, I bet you every player in the uh, NFL uh, would pick here, him. I don't think There's so. a reason he's not here, on a here, team. I don't think here's so. my thing between soft. I need guys that know what coverage is. I need guys that have taken snaps before. You cannot. So, who, But you guys I, haven't given me an answer. L- listen, well, he we tried to. You said I mean, you're getting your agents. Go ahead, These are the five names that consistently pop up. Trevor Simeon is no longer on that list. Right. Trevor Simeon. He's got I'm a actually team with now. Ball. I don't think any of these move the needle at all, but you have Nick Foles, Joe Flacco, Colt McCoy, Matt Ryan, or Carson Wentz. They're all, those are your five. They're all pretty much the same guy. How old's Carson Wentz? 31, maybe 32? How's Nick Foles? Are you uh, serious? We've right seen now. a lot from Nick but, that's So so listen, this as an or let's just those not, guys can't play. Let, let's let's Except just for maybe Wentz and nobody wants it. Wentz is thirty. Let's just right. mo- let's move off of the fan yeah. era and just get to a business standpoint. As a business owner, I cannot put my I cannot put the entirety of my season on a rookie. You just at the most important. Then why position. did we not say that before this week? Hey, listen, that's that problem. You should have been thinking about it. And here's the other thing too: oh. it's not the fans' job to do that. that it's is, the front office's front job. I'm to not do the that. fair, but why so. was it? How come everybody in the media didn't say this beforehand? Well, because, well, because you, you got to, and now one week we're panicking. I'll, I'll tell you and we why. We got to go sign Matt Ryan. I'll tell you why, Bull. You never think about the backup quarterback until you have to until think about the backup there. quarterback. Because, like you said, the plan is Watson's our guy. And if he's not here, it's a punt anyhow. And then, you know, it looks like that might be exactly the way the front office was looking at it. Because I thought I thought in this game, it was an exact punt. It looked just like they did a couple years ago. You could have kept Dobbs and DTR, too, by the way. The it wasn't shot. an either-or situation. I know that, but nobody yeah. was saying that. No, nobody was. Nobody. But again... That's not our job in the media, or is it the fans' job? But if you're concerned about the front it, like to kill the to. Browns now for not having a veteran quarterback, is, is so. Weak. So hold on. If you got a li- if, you got, if you got a if you got a leaky roof, if you got a leaky roof bull, and then it stops leaking, and you don't do anything about it, right? Quarterbacks get hurt all the time. Are, you are, if, you, they should have known if, if if it was a problem. Then we should have known. You don't just wait for a guy to get hurt. So, but here's the thing: Do you have inaction now? Why? Why, okay, why, so, why would you have inaction? Okay, if you so see fine. Wrong? So, give me the answer of who's going to make the Browns better. In I, that listen, list. I tell you what. Listen, it's not about if they're going to make the Super Bowl with these guys. Yeah. It's about getting a veteran. See, what you got to understand is, yeah. you you're, you're projecting and you're trying to get all the rest of these 53 grown men to go to your way. 
No. And, no, yes, you Gee, are. These guys haven't pl- these guys haven't played all year. They're gonna come in here and play quarterback so, now. So hold on. You telling yeah. me and this is the point. Yeah. You telling me that you are you're you are these top notch players on defense, Miles Garrett, all these rest of these guys. You telling me if they go out there and, and they got a rookie quarterback and they lose two out of the next three games or something, yeah. You telling them that those, those veterans is gonna be a pull those, up with that? I have no, I have no. no idea, but I don't think that any of these guys are going to give them any better chance but it's, to win. Yes, they, yes, they will. Okay, because I just don't see that. Here's the thing: even if, even if you got these guys that know yeah. how to read coverage, instead of running oh, into certain things, guess what you can do? So who do you want them to sign? What Let's, would you do? Hey, I would sign. Give me Nick Foles. I'll take him. Oh and God. at the end of the day, you don't have to start him over DTR immediately, but you have a contingency plan, right? You have. Let me break him out of glass. If Deshaun so Watson, you think DTR should still play the next game? I would give him. My, uh, hold on, watch this. Yeah. If, if I would, if I brought in a veteran. And I would evaluate it. I had to go watch this tape. DCR is lost in the sauce. That that performance. Yeah, we can't have that again. That that ain't it. Well, there's not. Listen, that, he, we can't have first that of again. All, they had no. They were preparing for Deshaun Watson to play. Yes, hundred percent preparing. Well, for Deshaun from Watson to from play. Wednesday on, he took all the reps. No, he didn't take all the reps. He threw. He, he took the passing reps. Yeah. Okay. Deshaun I mean, Watson was expecting to play. The team was expecting him to play. Well, Wednesday the whole he didn't weekend. Practice. He right. did not practice at all Wednesday. So he we Friday, know who took he all the reps Wednesday. Friday he was taking the he was taking all the running reps. Watson, all of them. He was doing all the handoffs. But he can't he throw. The that, that's a mistake on the Browns. I but, think. And I think yes. that's a that's a mistake on the Browns. Yeah. We've been here before. When a player tells you they could play, you trust your eyes and say, "Listen, let me get a contingency plan ready." If DTR don't do that, look at the Bengals. Look what they're doing. Burrow can't play. L- listen, I'm not. Well, wor- the Browns went with Baker look, when they never should look, have. I'm not worried about what other teams is doing. I'm worried about okay. what, what we're supposed to be doing in this huddle. What we got going. The bottom line is, if yeah. you got a quarterback, he can't throw. He's not showing you he can throw. Yeah. He's only doing a run plays. You got to get DTR ready with something that you think he can run with. Not five wide right. plays. Not trick reverse spin move throw it behind your back moves yeah I think Friday get a, when he threw the ball once and came over to the trainer the decision was made then. we got to get yeah, we and, gotta prepare and I know they were holding out for the best case scenario and I'm sure they probably gave him a shot Sunday morning and said go see what you have but look it, it's quarterbacks get hurt it's unfortunate what we have to start questioning now is do we want that again do we want to see him and by the way the Ravens are, I don't think they're an elite defense, but they're not a bad defense. No, 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 They're no. a very formidable defense. The Niners come in here with shine. They come in here as an yeah, elite defense. Yeah, but the Browns defense. can't beat the Niners without Deshaun Watson, no, probably no matter who their quarterback is. Well, I, don't, I hope to God they're not thinking that. They can't think that way. I know. I, hope I don't not. care what they're thinking. I'm talking about what I'm thinking. The reality yeah. is they, they have a very small chance of beating the Niners without Deshaun Watson. Is Said that every fair? team that faced Brock Purdy last year. I don't. Why would they say that? Because well, he was Mr. Irrelevant. He was a rookie quarterback. How's this guy going to come in here and beat us? Okay, but after a couple of weeks when he started playing well, they, nobody was thinking that. Right. But early on, everybody was like, "We got, we got the Niners. They're playing Brock Purdy." Oh, okay, but are you disagreeing with my point? I'm well, disagreeing that I certainly hope the players over there are saying, "Well, if well nobody's they, saying what the players are thinking." I'm saying, right, from an outside perspective. Yeah. I think it's unlikely the Browns win without Deshaun Watson. Is that well, fair? That's very fair. Okay, that's all I'm saying. But what you have to start considering yeah. is where's your point on the horizon after that? Like, you can't just throw your hands up on the season yeah, and say, right, thanks for playing. Agreed. So, Nick Foles played two games last year for okay. the Colts, right? No touchdowns, four picks. Okay. Completed 50% of his passes. That's, you know, I mean, and maybe he plays better than that. He did, you know, you five know, with, years see, ago. I think with Nick Foles. Yeah. Uh, and Carson Wentz, and it seems like a lot of quarterbacks now, Baker Mayfield, Deshaun Watson, what we're seeing from most quarterbacks in the NFL, even Joe Burrow right now, we're seeing that the gap between their ceiling and their floor is massive. It really is. I mean, it's cost guys chances in the NFL. Baker could look so bad that the Browns, the Panthers, and the Rams all said no thanks in the span of about 16 months. Yep. Buccaneers said, we need someone to replace Tom Brady. Let's give Baker a shot. He was once upon a time a former number one pick. And the guy comes out throwing darts. It's, I think, 
the, we have this, and I know you got to be going through this with the Bengals. I'm thinking this for you. Yeah. Who the hell is Joe Burrow? What happened to Joe Burrow? Who is this guy? The floor and the ceiling is so wide now. The gap is so wide that I think it's almost unrealistic to expect that you're going to get an elite quarterback performance consistently. No. I mean, even Mahomes, who won the game last night, did not look like Patrick Mahomes. Now, he made plays yeah, at the, the end to win the game. The great quarterbacks, when healthy, are going to play great most of the time. I agree with that. So, However, I, that's I a think, big difference. You can't put all these guys no, in the same but category. Bull, what I would say yeah. is, give me the top three quarterbacks right now. Coming into the season, here was the conversation. Yeah. It was uh, Joe Burrow. Yeah. It was Patrick Mahomes. Right. And it was Josh Allen. Yeah. yeah. All three this year have looked okay at times. Burrow has not looked great yet. Well, he's, yeah, but, he's not healthy, but, but 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 he's on the field. Allen Josh against Allen's Miami played. yesterday looks like a world beater. In week one, he was throwing the ball know, to the other but, jerseys but all day. That's one game, Jay. So, I know, but that's gonna, a, but, but Josh Allen's played great three games in a Those row. Those are the him. quarterbacks who are the greats right yeah. now. Those are the greats. Those yeah. are the top echelon quarterbacks. Right. right. And what we've got from those three, and I know it's only a quarter of the season, but what we've had from them, here's Mahomes. Here's Joe Burrow. Here's Josh Allen. No, there's no, you're like, wrong on Josh Allen. No, Josh Allen looked horrible in week one. Right, he's played great in three games since. Oh, okay. What I'm saying, I'm just talking about the body of work this year. But I year. don't understand what your point Who's is. Who's the quarterback this year that's gone out and had four unbelievable great games and hasn't thrown an egg? Brock Purdy. No, Brock Purdy. I watched Brock Purdy in, the, in their primetime game a couple of weeks ago. He still made some throws that he can't make. Now he's he has he's been really good. Very well in four games. You said something at the top. Yeah. I want to I want to dr- drill down on because yeah. you're absolutely right. Here's my thought going into the game was by halftime the defense is going to get worn down and they're going to throw their hands up in the air. The defense was not horrible yesterday. No, they, no, no, it no. wasn't the defense they, they saw they started the off, first three weeks. They started off like game busters. They started off yeah. saying this. We got to pitch a shutout or three points yep. yeah. or it's going to be a long okay, day. But, but bringing it back, and I don't know how we got to this from Nick Foles. So what I'm saying is yeah. we, we've got a body of work, and I'll use Baker as the example. Yeah. You know, Baker was all over with three different teams. And, you know, every he was the one that had to wait to get a deal, and the deal he got with Tampa Bay was not great. It was kind of a, okay, I, right. I guess that's who I have to other guys are with. still sitting in October. So what I'm saying is, We've seen in Baker's career, he yeah. has been Jekyll Hyde, up, down, really good, really bad, really good, really bad, from three different teams. Now he's in a situation where, and even yesterday, Evans was out. Evans was hurt. Yeah. So without his best receiver, he went and beat a really good defense, played a great game. What I'm saying is, these guys, Foles, won a Super Bowl. And has also looked like he never played the I mean, quarterback position before. He's mostly been before. awful outside of that that playoff run. He has. Yeah. I will give you that. Yeah. But I can't erase from my mind that this guy won a Super Bowl. I, I was in the audience it, that it day freak, and watched him beat it Tom was Brady. An anomaly. Uh, it was. Uh, you know. But then I go back and I look to at Carson Wentz. So what I think the, the answer here is, if you put the guy in the right situation, maybe. But what, here's what I know for a fact after watching it for one game. That DTR DTR's thing. not it. Not that, yet. That, that ain't gonna get I'm it not done. giving up on him. Not even close. No, no, no. no. It's should. not fair to him to, to, to ask him, can you save our season, Yeah, please? to put that on. Can like, you save Miles Garrett's season? That, yeah. That but is what crazy. I'm saying, That's not fair. First,